everybody how are you i hope you all are having a great day i know i am welcome back to the house of chillin if you're new here please hit the subscribe button down below i go live and i upload all kinds of different things today i am starting my chronicling me series i had started one long ago scrap that starting over and today we're working on diabetes it is one of the many chronic ailments and illnesses I deal with on a daily basis but probably one of the more serious ones that I have to take extreme careful measures in order to deal with and the reason why I want to do this video is because I got a new meter but real quick let me tell you how I became diabetic because I'm a weird case just like I am with most of the illnesses and syndromes and autoimmune diseases I have I became a diabetic in July of 2016. In March of 2016, I had lab work done. A1C, that is very important for diabetics. A1C is a three month average of blood sugars. Usually you want your blood sugar under five. Um, that is non-diabetic. Non um, when I had my A1C checked because of all the other wonderful things going on with me. I get everything checked and I have a history of it in my family. My A1C was 4.2. So there was absolutely no concern about me being diabetic at all. That was, what did I say, March and July. Everything went down real fast. Um, and it's been a horrible, terrible journey. Um, I've been in and out of the hospital. I went into ketoacidosis, which I almost died from. Um, to make a long story short, I have type 1 and type 2, sort of. I have a unique type of diabetes. Um, type 1 is juvenile onset. It usually comes from the fact that their pancreas just doesn't work. In case you don't know, your pancreas is what produces the insulin for your body. Uh, type 2 is where obesity and diet and all that fun stuff and family history come into play. And it's adult onset so I have type 1 and 2 because um, my my pancreas died which is more or less what can kind of happen in juvenile onset diabetes and I'm type 2 because I was an, an adult onset so that's how I'm type 1 too it doesn't really matter in the long run really uh, I still have to be treated for it my treatment is really crazy and way beyond what most diabetics, especially type 2 diabetics, have to go through. If you want to hear that story in more details that makes sense, let me know down in the comments because I can add it to my, to my list of videos I want to do for this and I will tell you my diabetes story in more detail. Back in July of 2016 I got a meter and mind you this is three years old and you use this sucker every day um, three four five times a day depending on the type of diabetic day you're having you can be using this sucker a lot and so uh, this is the main part of it this is the old uh, the old case um, it's been it's not looking too bad actually for as much wear and tear that it's had but the funny thing is uh, when the pharmacist told me that I was getting a new meter she said it's the same brand it's just going to look a little bit different I'm like oh, okay she said it's going to do all the same things it's just going to look different well, boy, did she lie to me. Okay, so I have the contour next one. Uh, this is the brand, at least, that I know typically from around here. I live in Kansas. Um, that Medicare, uh, Medicaid, um, cheaper insurances will pay for. Ralph's Trucking, and I will link him down below. He did a video on a really cool meter that I checked into, but you have to work through an employer in order to get that. I think that's really odd. I think every meter should be 
available to everyone. But anyway, um, through his work insurance, he was able to get this cool meter. So make sure after you're done watching this one to go check that one out. This one, this is what I'm so excited about. I can actually Bluetooth this one to my phone. Um, all I have to do is download an app and then I can send the results off the app directly to the portal of my endocrinologist so she knows exactly what my blood sugars are. That has totally cut out a huge step for me. That is totally exciting that this Bluetooth, I've always wanted one that would connect to my phone, but I figured my insurance would never pay for it. So here is the new one and I'm gonna just shut this one real quick to show you the difference in the size. Smaller is always more compact, especially, you know, since diabetics have to take this thing everywhere. You never know um, if you go out shopping at 9 o'clock in the morning and the next thing you know, it's noon and you got to take your blood sugar. So this thing is like your best friend. It's always with you. Um, this is what you have right here. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to use this little pen as a pointer. Right here is your insulin test strips right here is your meter here's our meter our test strips right here this thing right here which is also i'll show you the one that's already up this one right here ralph called it a popper i always knew them as a poker i never knew what they were exactly called and they are called a lancet device pretty original name since they actually hold this which is called a lancet. So, for y'all who never, ever, ever seen any blood sugar done, first, but the very most important thing first that you need to do is go wash your hands. So, small break, and I'll be right back to go do that. And now that I've washed my hands, and I even used Germex, what you got to do after your hands is washed, is get your poker what I call it, popper, what Ralph Strachan calls it, or your lancing device, and you pull the top off. Pretty simple mechanism there. Just take your little lancet here, like so. Um, they're universal, they all fit in the same one. Um, and then you just kind of wiggle it in there so it fits in there, like that. This uh, little thing right here is your protective needle cap, so you don't poke yourself. So you take that off, and this is what pokes your finger. I'm pretty sure everybody at some point has had their finger poked. It is not a very big poker at all. See here, there's usually arrows that line it up. So, like that. Okay. So, the next important thing you need to know is you see numbers right here. They go 1, 2, 5. 1 means shallow. 5 means deep. Um, depending on the type of skin you have, um, if it's calloused, if you, know, you work real hard with your hands or whatever, um, if you poke your fingers a thousand times a day, um, that depends on what number you're on. I have to be on five because if I'm not on five, you're not going to get any blood from me. Now that you've got your lancet set up, you have to get your meter up here. Shut all your meter just like that. And you grab your, your test strip. Now you want to do this with clean hands because if your hands are not clean, then if you've touched anything that might have any type of sugary type substance on it, which is a lot more things than you think, um, it will mess up your test results. Here is what the strip looks like. This part right here is what sucks up the little bit of blood that you're going to poke from your finger. So we are going to do this. I always grab it in the middle. So you are just going to take this, and I had to mess around with this. This one's kind of particular about how far you push it in. And 
and there you will have your date and then you will see right here that is a little replica of your meter meaning it wants your blood what you want to do is you want to take an alcohol pad Di diabetics are really prone to infections but diabetics get infections and sometimes it's really hard to cure them so um, you alcohol off your pinky and you ask why am I using my pinky well because I use the rest of my fingers and they're sore but actually your pinky if you're having trouble getting blood from one of your fingers just because it's cold many reasons why you don't get blood out of your finger mostly because it's cold um, your pinky is the uh, best finger to get blood out of so you have your little popper and this is probably why Ralph calls it a popper because you pull this like that then there is a button right here and because I want to stay monetized my eyes been itching allergies because I want to stay monetized I am not going to show you the gruesomeness of the blood but here's your button it don't hurt it really don't hurt it don't hurt I've been poked so many times that yeah let me try to get this the right way if I do it like that will it okay we'll see here sucks up the blood now it's going to do a countdown and it's upside down and my blood sugar is 77 which is really weird for me because it feels low to me I already knew that um, but it's right in range it should be somewhere between 50 and hundred I do believe um, there's a lot of variables variables everywhere in diabetes um, almost as many variables in diabetes as there are on how to succeed on YouTube um, for before eating 77 isn't bad I definitely would not take any insulin right now um, my whole insulin re regimen on how I take it and how much of it I take would be for a whole different video like I said if you're interested in that um, I take all kinds of different pills uh, different amounts of insulin um, if you're interested in that please let me know in the comments below I will be more than happy to do a video on that and you see me putting stuff over here okay well, I'm going to tell you the next thing that doesn't come with your meter but you need to have that I bet a lot of you diabetics don't have and that is your hazards box I put anything that um, has blood on it whether it's my alcohol pads my um, my strip that I just used I put in there my lancet which I'm not always good at changing these every time I put that in there my needle caps on my insulin I don't know if you can see those but there you go those when I am done with one of these I actually throw the whole thing in here because um, I don't want any animals any children any um, I don't want anyone to come into contact with this and at least around here um, I don't know about any other place um, if you take this when it's full to your pharmacist they will dispose of it or, but don't go around if you're a diabetic and just throw in your crap just any old way this is biohazardous waste this is a, it's sharp it has your blood on it um, just ooey gooey stuff and it shouldn't just be thrown in a old coke bottle or or just in the trash you never know what's going to get into your trash so I highly, highly, highly encourage any diabetic to go get one of these. They come in bigger sizes. Um, this just happened to be the one, the free one they gave me at the beginning of the year. Um, and I had already had one, so I just started using this one. That's why it's not full. Anything that touches blood, um, anything that's sharp, it goes in here. So yeah, so far I am a hundred times happier with this one than this old standby. Um, 
I guess this is a contour next one and this is the contour next easy please let me know down below do you want to know more about my diabetes story do you want to know more about the all the diabetes stuff I take and the outrageous amounts of it that I have to take um, do you want to keep seeing these kind of videos do you want to know about my autoimmune disease do you want to know about my rheumatoid diseases do you want to know about my thyroid diseases um, I could go on let me know in the comments don't just tell me I have a good video give me some feedback as to what you want I love until next time toodles